What's crackalackin' everybody? Your boy Vongo's back and today I'm super excited because I'm back in the kitchen! And today we are going to be making something gigantic, something way larger than life. Today we are making a DIY ultimate giant taco. In this taco, we're going to be making our own tortilla bread, we're going to be making our own pico de gallo, our own guacamole, and we're going to be combining all this fun stuff to make a DIY giant Taco. First things first, I gotta give a huge shout out to the guy standing behind the camera today. Everybody say what's up to Dustin. I like that. Guys, if you haven't checked out Dustin's channel for some weird reason, make sure you go check him out. I'll leave a link to his channel at the very top of my description. Before we get this video started, I need you guys to go down, smash that like button. Today we're gonna be trying something that I've never tried before, so I really hope it works. Kind of like all my other DIYs, but this time's a little bit different. We're gonna stick to the savory side. We're going Mexican today. So, without further ado, let's get into this DIY. Alrighty, so first step in making our DIY giant taco is obviously to make our tortilla bread. So, we have today a bunch of flour and unfortunately we're gonna have to measure some shit today because you know usually I hate measuring but to perfect a tortilla bread you have to have the right proportion so for this recipe we're gonna be using four cups of flour all right guys it's way too hot in the kitchen already today is gonna be crazy I got out of my big old sweater and we are ready to start this DIY alrighty so here's our flour we need four cups of this guy here and that's two cups here another one Dustin, there's Joe. You need to add at least an, oh, okay, all right. Well, here, here. That, that was extremely ineffective. So we're gonna put the rest of the flour into the bowl. Now, the next ingredient is one full teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna go no, ahead. No, bro, it's a tablespoon, Measures. it's a tablespoon. Is it? Yeah. Dustin, there's Joe. Anyway, guys, so we have our salt into the mix. Now it's time to add our water. So we need a cup and a half of water for this recipe. So here's a cup and a half of water. We're gonna be adding this guy in just like so. In addition to the water, we're gonna be adding some olive oil as well. I believe this recipe calls for three tablespoons. This time, I don't know, I should be measuring, but here, one, two, three, and we're just gonna put a little bit more because you know what? Jesus. Dewey, there's jokes. Dewey! Bro, hey, 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 hey. We're trying to film. We're, we're, we're trying to film. Ow, ow! All right, guys, so now that the ingredients are all in the bowl, what we're gonna do is obviously take off the jewel feet. It's time to get dirty, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and knead. Dustin, there's jokes. We're gonna go ahead and knead this flour concoction together. So essentially what we wanna do is we wanna bring all the dry and the wet ingredients together to make a nice dough. This bird is cheesing me. Yo, Dewey, there's Joe. All right, guys, so when every... Dewey! All right, guys, so when everything is said and done, you should have a dough. Dewey! We're gonna put you outside. Yeah, now he listens. All right. All right, so... Okay, so... All right, so you guys should have a dough similar to this guy. What you guys wanna do is actually grab a little bit of flour and start placing it on your counter and then just kinda of roll that guy up in dough like so. And we wanna start pressing out our dough like this. So once you have this, Dewey, there's jokes. Dewey, there's jokes. Yeah, here. No, no, I got him. Oh, he's biting me. No, no. Is he on me? He's on you. Okay, come here, Dewey. Jesus! Oh, all right. Okay. Bro. Dewey, where are you going? Somebody call Brave Wilderness. Dewey. Hello, Dewey. Hello, Dewey. He likes me. Why can't we be friends? Into the game. <gasps> all right, downstairs. Dewey. There's jokes. All right, guys, so now that we have our tortilla dough, what we want to do is we actually just want to knead this out into a nice little circle, and we want to grab our handy dandy rolling pin, and we want to start rolling this tortilla bread out like so. Here, here, here. Essentially, guys, we want to make it as big as humanly possible, because this is a giant DIY. All right, guys, so we have rolled out our entire tortilla dough. As you can see, it is pretty friggin' big. So we are gonna take our pizza tray. This is what we're gonna use to cook our tortilla. So I'm just gonna place the tray on the bread like so. Ooh, I like that technique. I'm gonna grab my handy dandy pizza cutter and I'm just gonna crease the tray like so. Here, this can, whoa, my jewel! That tortilla bread should be a perfect circle. Now we're gonna spray our thing of Pam just like so. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour on it. Here, 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 here. Now, this is the important part. We wanna grab our tortilla 
and boom, just like that, fit it on our pan that we used. Dustin, look how big that is. Bro, bro, check this out. I got a good idea. World's most expensive taco. Oh! So the next thing we're gonna be making is our own DIY pica de gallo. But for this one, we actually don't have to get messy. So it's time to put the two of us back up. Dude, look at me with my one. Look at me with the gold ring. Here goes nothing. To get started on our pico de gallo, we're gonna be using a number of different ingredients. Let's get started. First things first, we wanna grab our cutting board. Bro, what is that? Here, we wanna grab our knife and we need bare tomatoes. So today I got one, two, three, four, five, Bro, and what, six tomatoes. What's a bear tomato? A bear tomato is these ones that are, are more orange than they are red. Okay. They come with uh, no little stem here. So I have bear tomatoes today. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna keep it easy. We want diced tomatoes. Little dice because we're doing the pico de gallo here, all right? We just want little squares here. And when that's done, we're gonna put it in our bowl right here. And we're gonna keep chopping these guys up until we have enough tomatoes in our bowl to complete this pico de gallo. All right guys, so we're just finishing up our last tomato. As you can see, we have a lot of tomatoes in this pico de gallo. So we're just gonna add the last tomato here and move on to the next ingredient. Now the next ingredients you guys want is obviously a red onion. So we're gonna take this onion, we're just gonna cut the top off, cut the bottom off, put one slit in the middle. We're gonna take that First layer off like so. And same as the tomato, we wanna finely chop these guys. So we're gonna cut it in half. We're gonna bust it up with one of these, a quick little one, two slices. You see what I'm doing here, guys? I'm keeping everything intact. And I'm gonna hit it with the same one on the other side of So here, here, here. What that's gonna do is it's allow me to put bare oh. onions into my pico de gallo. Oh. So we're gonna repeat that process with the other side here. Here. Oh. Comment down below if you hate onions. I love my onions. I hate onions. They just burn your mouth, make your eyes. No! All right, we're gonna put this stuff into the pico de gallo, guys. As you can see, it is coming along. We have our tomatoes, we have our onions. Next step is we wanna grab some fresh jalapeno, all right? Now, this stuff is really fucking spicy, so don't be eating it. Now, a major key, guys, is to actually DC your jalapeno, all right? The less seeds you have, the less spicy it is. So we wanna get all this right out of the jalapeno. We're gonna take our knife, and we're actually just gonna quickly slice this up. This can go in our pico de gallo. Now, same thing with the other one, and into the pico it goes. We are missing a major key in all Mexican food, and that is cilantro. So we're gonna grab some cilantro, we're gonna bundle it up like so, and we're gonna finely chop this guy, all right? So here goes nothing, we're gonna bundle it up. Now guys, the smaller the bundle, the easier it is to cut, I'll show you why. If you bunch it up, you have a small surface area, and then you can actually chop them up nice and fine like so. And guys, look at this technique, keep your fingers away from the knife, you don't wanna cut any Thing. Then those last ones can cop a quick chop and then boom into the pico it goes. I like a lot of cilantro. Me too. Honestly, I'm okay with that. I probably do that. You look like a rabbit. All right, guys. Now, another major key I like putting <clears throat> into my pico is green onions or chives or whatever you guys like to call them. Finally, chop these guys up like so. As you can see, your boy Bongo is pretty fucking good at chopping. Guys, this isn't my first time in the kitchen, but if it is, guys, take your time. You don't want to speed things up. We want to be safe in this kitchen. So grab your chives, sprinkle them in like so. Here we go. So, guys, we have all our main ingredients. We have our tomatoes, our onions, our green onions, our cilantro, our jalapeno. Now, it is time to add some lime to give it that extra zest all right guys so this is our last line here guys we're just gonna go ahead and dump that guy in this can go to the side and now we're ready to put in some dry ingredients into our pico de gallo what you guys want to do is grab a little bit of garlic powder all right not too much just a little bit on the top like that you guys want to grab some fresh ground pepper and this isn't fresh at all but the fresher the better we're gonna pour some in like that and we're actually just gonna grab a little bit of salt and pour some on the top now we are ready to mix this guy so you guys want to grab a fork you just want to start bringing all your ingredients together and as you guys can see, it is starting to look like a delicious pico de gallo and I can't wait to give this guy a taste. All right guys, so we have mixed up our pico de gallo. A little taste test time. Guys, in Bongo's kitchen, we are organized, we are efficient. We preheated our oven, our tortilla's done. It's time to put this bad boy in the oven. So, we're gonna go ahead, stick this guy in the oven. You guys wanna have it on the middle rack there. We're gonna keep that guy in there for about 10 minutes. We wanna keep a close eye on it to make sure it doesn't burn. All right, guys, so now that our tortilla is in, we are in a time crunch because now we have to make sure that that pops out at the same time that everything else is ready. We have our pico, we have our tortilla. It's time to get started on the meat and then we'll transition into the guac. So, for the meat, I have over three pounds of beef and another pound just in case. Now guys, you know, your boy Bongo's the baker's man, all right? So 
All right guys, so we have our meat in a skillet. What we want to do is grab a little bit of olive oil. We're going to put some on the side of That's going to help our meat cook. So we're going to give this guy some time. We'll wait on it to sizzle. While that's happening, we're going to get started on our guacamole. So here goes nothing. Guys, grab some avocados. You guys want to pit your avocados like so. If you guys don't know how to do that, mad easy. Cut around, open it up like so. Take that fucking thing right out of there. Make sure you're not wasting any guac. Grab your spoon, boom, like that. Clean avocado. Here, so we're going to continue doing that for all the avocados. All right guys, so we have our avocado in the bowl. Now the next step to make your guacamole is to grab another tomato, all right? Again, we want to do that finely chopped tomato tactic. Here we go, boom. And as fine as possible for this guy, because you don't really want to notice the tomato in your guacamole. So we're going to do it nice and fine as, just like so. We're going to go with little bitty dices for these tomatoes, guys. Look at the size of these. Real small, real petite, all right? Tastes delicious. That's going into our guacamole here. Grab a red onion. Now for this one, guys, we're only going to be using half the onion we don't need the whole thing we probably don't eat any because onions are nasty but it's okay what did you say about onions, onions are, nah not again all right guys so grab your onion again finely chopped in the guacamole all right the pico de gallo different game guacamole make sure your onions are finely chopped your tomatoes are finely chopped now we're gonna grab this again fine chops guys here 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 once you have your onion you want to pick that up and throw your, it in the garbage into okay. the guacamole it goes dust in there's joke now second last ingredient for your guacamole again with the cilantro guys major key in this stuff all right fine chops of cilantro here 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 we can put that guy on into the guacamole now you guys want to grab another lime all right get all your juice out like so and then into the guacamole it goes now we want to do that with a full lime all right guys you want to grab this potato masher because the avocado are still in pieces we actually want to mix that guy up so we're just going to grab everything we're going to start smushing it together here what that's going to do is it's going to mix all our ingredients together it's going to give it that guacamole consistency so we're just going to go at that guy for a couple seconds here make sure everything's nice and mixed together and then dustin you want to pan in here take a look at this guacamole b bro what do i bro i'm no rookie b i make guacamole on the regular jerry taste test time bless up salt babe amazing all right guys so our meat is well underway we're gonna be adding a couple dry ingredients to our meat to give it that taco flavor so what we're gonna start off with is bear chili powder this is the same kind of bear that comes with the tomatoes so we're just gonna be using bear chili powder here 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 and guys if it's not enough you actually just want to crank that guy open and give it one of these here 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 as well guys we're gonna be adding some onion powder here 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 we're gonna be adding some garlic powder as well here and of course a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper now guys we start mixing that up and i wish you guys can smell this because it is starting to come together it is starting to smell a little bit like taco meat mmm delicious ryan shows up what when up? the food's almost yeah, ready yeah let's get it let's That's eat boy all right guys we're gonna check up on our tortilla just to make sure it's not crisping up we want to make sure it does stay as a soft shell so here we go we're gonna grab this tortilla let's check it out Okay, now it is looking good. What we want to do guys is simply flip it over. All right, and that's gonna give it a little bit of brown on the bottom. So we're gonna put it back in the oven and our taco meat is almost ready. So this is coming out perfectly. We got our pico, we got our guac. We are gonna shred some cheese. Our meat should be done and we are ready to put this DIY giant taco together. Alrighty guys, so our tortilla is right about done. I'm about to take that guy out of the oven. So here we go. Boom, let's check it out. It's like a, like, a, like a jank. Amazing. Perfect. This is exactly what we're looking for. Now, we can take the tortilla off the tray. This tray can go on the side on. Be careful, it's hot. Since the tortilla is a little bit bendable right now, what we want to do is we actually just want to shape it into a taco shell. So, we're going to put this pot on the side. And we're gonna grab our bag of flour here. Alrighty guys, it is time to compile this DIY giant taco. Go down, smash that thumbs up button, cause here goes nothing. We want to grab our taco meat. Ooh, here we go. First layer of taco meat. Here, here. Wow, okay, this is coming along great. There is our first level of taco meat. Now, Dustin, what do you wanna put in there? Pico or guac first? You gotta go pico first, because they asked if you want guac last. True, true. Guac's always extra, save your money. So here we go. Bear pico de gallo, alive. Here, you want extra? I got you, B. Yo, you want some more pico de gallo? Say no more, I got you, here. All right, guys, so we have our pico de gallo. Next up, we want to put our lettuce in. So we're gonna grab some lettuce, put some of that guy in, here. Now that we have our lettuce on, we want to grab our guacamole, and guys, here, you want guac? It's extra, here, I don't mind. We're gonna put all the guacamole we have. Ooh. Here, guac alert. And for the second last step, we're gonna grab bear cheese. We're gonna be putting bear cheese on the top of this guy, here. Final step, obviously everyone's favorite ingredient, sour cream, here. Boom, just like that. 
maybe a little bit more sour cream, and bam! Here it is guys, DIY Giant Taco. Taste test? Just, right just on saying, time. Jesus right Christ. Is... Come back Where were you doing the work, right? Take the first bite, take the first bite. I'll take the second. I don't even know how I'm gonna approach this. All right, here we go. Did someone say taste test? Oh, oh shit. All right, here goes nothing, guys. Mm. Hey. Okay. Mmm. Well, that was delicious. Ah. All right, one to ten. How you rating this? This is an eleven. Eleven. All right. Yeah. Sour cream all over my face. <clears throat> all right. Do everyone a favor and go wipe your face. All right. Next up. Right, Who's next up? Alert. Wolfie doesn't want to eat after you. Oh, I'm too expensive to eat after Ryan Swayze. <laughs> oh, I like that technique. You don't even pick it up. <laughs> I think the guac. God bless. And. Here, I give it like an eight out of ten, only because I make better tacos. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Unreal, guys. Usually, I only get guac when someone else pays for it, <laughs> so I don't get that much. But that guac was amazing. Another one complete, bro. Another one. Bongo's the only DIY food god because they actually taste good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I'll give that to Bongo. Bongo makes the most edible DIY giant foods. You heard it here first, guys. Bongo is driving Wolfie Rob's, guys. I'm bringing this from uh, not talking to us. So All right, here we go. Jeez, that's a big bite. Oh, here it comes. So I love it. Here. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I had a great time making my DIY giant taco. It came out phenomenal. The tortilla was on point. The pico was amazing. The guac was nice and smooth. It came out exactly what I expected it to be. The toppings were great. Guys, uh, Dustin, over here. Yeah, okay, guys. Huge shout out to my main man, Just Dustin. Thanks for watching. What are you doing? <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please go down and smash that like button. Leave a comment of another suggestion of a giant DIY and your idea might just make it on the channel. Again guys, thank you so much for watching the video and until next time, take it easy. It's Bob Easy!